Special Olympics provides year-round sports training and competition to children and adults eight years of age and older with intellectual and developmental disabilities. They have an event coming up that you don't want to miss, and the details are right around the corner on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Jeremy Moretti, and with me today, we've got Mike Long with uh, Special Olympics Polk County, and uh, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me on. Well, we're going to dive on in, because, okay. I mean, it, you got a ton of stuff to, to go over. Oh. Busy season for you. Lots of sports going on. Take us away on, on what you guys have uh, been up to and what all's coming up to. Okay. Um, we just finished up having state equestrian and I, I just want to put a shout out you won't believe Polk County took the riding team up there and I think we needed the chest to bring home all the gold medals we brought home it was that no many, kidding yeah we won it we, we we won a lot of a lot of first places a few seconds a few thirds I mean it was an incredible event wow. and our our riders were incredible with that um, we've also basically we just had polar plunge this is a I don't know some crazy people like to get together raise money and then go jump in 50, 60 degree water, but <laughs> I have to put a plug in. My wife put together a team, and it was over in Hillsboro at, uh, at There's third. There's uh, Adventure Island, right? Yeah, yep. Adventure Island. And uh, sh she took third place. Uh, her team did, it, you know, so. Uh, All right. If I don't bring that plug in, then I don't go home. Yeah. You know, that, <laughs> that so, um, and then on top of that, we've uh, just been a lot of little events going on and different things of, of uh, that are, I've been involved, you know, there's a lot of Down syndrome and there's a lot of autism other things. Mm -hmm. It's been great to get out and visit some of those and find new athletes and stuff like that. Now, the big thing, well, what's coming up uh, right around the corner is uh, Rockin' on the Rivers doing a fundraiser. We get, we get the proceeds from the parking, and that's a great event to go to. It's on uh, April 5th and 6th. Mm -hmm. And your equestrian folks are going to be there as well? Yes, they're going to be actually doing the honor guard, bringing in the, uh, the flag. Okay. Uh, so that should be you know, a really neat event. Uh, we've also got, um, there's, a, there's a golf tournament April 26th uh, for, that LETR is putting on um, that's out at Cleveland Heights. Um, and also we're starting the golf, t the golf program is just getting started. I'm still looking for another program there. Uh, we've also got uh, stand up paddle board starting right away uh, at Lake, I have to look it up, what is it, Lake, uh, Lake Martha in Winter Haven. Okay. And then we have three swimming uh, programs that are going to be started. Simpson Park, uh, South YMCA, and uh, Rowdy Gaines Pool over in uh, Winter Haven. Haven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So all of that's kind of just ramping up. <laughs> but the big event that we had that we finished up, well, our, first of the big event that's coming up hmm. is I think I've told you guys, we have county games and we have area games. Well, we just finished the county summer games. But we're ca what's coming up next is the uh, area games. And this is expanded big time. This is the massive one. Right. Right. Well, except for state. Well, yeah. yeah which we'll talk about that probably next episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, area game is this time has gone from just us in Hillsboro to uh, eight different counties. 900 different ath athletes will be participating. 400 volunteers. This is all going to be out at uh, Jesuits in Tampa okay. High School. And uh, it's, a, it's a massive event. Uh, and when's that going on? That is going to be April uh, 6th. Okay. Uh, yeah, 6th, Sunday, Saturday, April 6th. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's really our big one that's coming up. But again, we just finished having our big county games. Mm -hmm. which, which we were just at. Yes. And so uh, got quite a bit of, of footage there and got to see your wonderful athletes in action. And uh, why don't we take a look and see what all they were up to. Great.
If you cannot win, let me be brave. Let me be brave. In the end attempt. Let the games begin. Well, we hope you enjoyed a uh, little bit of footage that we put together uh, from the, the games for Special Olympics and, um, and all our Polk County athletes. But now we've got a, a special treat um, back from Abu Dhabi. We've got the uh, Special Olympics Polk team uh, for volleyball that took fourth place in the, the games out there. And we have here to my right, Andrew Edwards yeah. and uh, Kimmy Piscina and Christopher Castillo. 
uh, all here with us in the, the studio. So thank you guys for coming in. <laughs> I know you guys just got back, so <laughs> it's kind of a whirlwind for you. But uh, thanks for coming in. And I want to talk to you a little bit about what you guys did over there. Um, Andrew, do you want to start us off and, and tell us a little bit about your two-week <laughs> trip over there? It was fun. I like the place because I like every time I watch a video, like on Utah, I never stop watching it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, this place is probably fun. <laughs> so I just want to have fun. I like the camera ride. Yeah, the the camels out there. Yeah, pretty interesting. I've it heard it's fun. a little bit wobbly. To a kind little. of a <laughs> not exactly the smoothest ride in the world. But how about the the games? You guys uh, got out there. Uh, yeah, we kicked some butts, but yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> the medal show it too that you guys have. So, and I hear that you're one of the the best on the team. That right? Yeah. Yeah. What's your position? I always be in the front. Sometimes, like I'm in the front. I'm like a spiker. Okay. And sometimes, I don't set the ball to nobody. I just mind my own business just hit the ball over it yeah whoop them <laughs> a little bit yeah all right <clears throat> and kimmy you you were in a little bit of a different role uh, uh yes mm. i was libero for a while and then i got changed to be a setter okay but it was fun overall and so tell us a little bit about your role and how that's different from uh the other guys on um well i am a partner and we play unified so that's kids with special needs and kids without special needs mm -hmm. And we're just all there together to have some fun and to play the game and try to get better. So how did you get involved in this? Uh, last year, my best friend, Bambi, was in Special Olympics, and she convinced me to go. And I learned that I loved it, and I love being with kids and helping them, and I hope to do it in the future. I hear you want to be an ESE teacher. Yes, that's what I'm studying to be right now. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> we need all the teachers we can get, that's for sure. But uh, it, so have you? you only been playing a year now? Uh, yes, a year. And you guys, how long have y'all been playing? I've played for four years. You've been playing for four, Chris? Um, how long have you been same. playing? Four years. Four years. About four years? All right. Not too bad. Four years, taking fourth place, international competition. Mm -hmm. So now, two-week trip, Abu Dhabi, pretty different than, than being here, right? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Chris, what do you think of it? <clears throat> It was beautiful, but, and I got tired sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it was a long flight, that's why not. And I got tired after we, we went there. Yeah. So uh, what are some of the things you guys did over there that, uh, I mean, I know <laughs> you like the camel ride. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the two weeks, uh, I know you guys did a lot of playing. Um, but you also got to go out and see a little bit of the country. Was this your first time out of the country? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah? All right. A little different experience. A lot of <laughs> desert, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, a lot yeah. of desert. Yeah. But you uh, are, you got to go to the beaches, is that right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. So what's that like? It's nice. It's cold, the the, uh, the beach. Really? Really. Okay. Um, but... I not feel it like going in the beach, but I would feel like I would feel like in the beach. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not exactly like Florida beaches. Nope. Yep. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So now you guys got back. What um, few days ago? On Friday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah Saturday. On Saturday. Okay. So. It was a fourteen-hour flight coming back, or something. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. But uh, <clears throat> now, what's uh what's it been like since you guys got back to school? Well, we haven't actually been to school because we're in spring break. Oh, that's I right. I forgot about that. Yeah, we're in spring break. Um, I want to take a break. I want to take a break. It's a little so bit of much. a breather. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Have some downtime. That's right. So now, what's next for you guys? Um, you have more competitions coming up? or They'll be at area. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the the area competitions playing. Okay. They're one of the teams that will be there. So, yeah. All right. So you guys, I guess, would be the team to beat. <laughs> yeah? Got the target on your back now? Yeah. Yeah? All right. So when you guys do competitions like this, how do you guys prepare for it? 
Well, we no. have this little, we have this little <laughs> okay. inside That's joke hilarious. where um, that we learned when we went up to Newark, where we like to tap our arms like, yeah. and tap our, and arms tap our legs, and then we breathe in and out so we could relax. So, so we can get some energy and run. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like an inside joke that we have as a team. Inside oh. joke, but it's not yeah. really. To get ready. <laughs> All right, kind of a little meditation preparation mm -hmm. type. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us about your little friend here that's next to you. Oh, this is Bella. She's our team mascot, <laughs> and she went everywhere with us, and you know she liked to spend time with us, and we took pictures with her. Okay. And it was very fun having her around. All right. So, yeah. <coughs> and you still got your special haircut there? Is it? No, sadly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh it's gone away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it went. It went off a few days when I was in Lobo Lobby. Uh, he, okay. He had a USA put back there. Mm -hmm. it was All right. Beautiful. Well, I, I can't put anything much on top of my head, so good for you. Keep it. But, uh, well, guys, thanks so much for coming in, mm -hmm. and congratulations. Love the medals. Thank you. And Thank you. making Polk County proud. Mm -hmm. So we love that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, you guys have, have everything going on, don't you? I oh, mean, yeah. We don't stop. International stars, you know, yep. all kinds of medals coming back from equestrian, and more competitions coming and up. this big, huge competition coming up. Yeah. So, yeah. Especially, we have a lot going on, and if you want to come out and see us, the more the merrier. All yeah. right. Well, thank you guys all for coming in, and we'll be seeing you again real soon. Okay, thank you. Special Olympics Florida in Polk County invites you to the Florida Area Summer Games Saturday, April 6th at the Jesuit High School at 4701 North Hines Avenue in Tampa. More than 900 athletes from Polk, Hillsborough Highlands, Manatee, Citrus, Hernando, Lake, and Pinellas Counties will compete, compete in bocce, cheerleading, cycling, track and field, soccer, and volleyball, plus a tennis invitational. More than 400 volunteers help make sure the events run smoothly <coughs> and is a success. For more information, you can give them a call at 863-873-8219 or look them up on the web at www.specialolympicsflorida.org forward slash polk.